became a potter through an experience at university. I was studying psychology, um, but I also took some art therapy classes and used clay as the medium, and I just found it really powerful and just fell in love with it. So um, I worked in IT for many years, but from university days, I knew that I wanted to, to eventually do something a little more creative. And the opportunity existed at the time I quit my job, went to TAFE for two and a half years, basically immersing myself in every possible form, um, different firing techniques, how to make your own glazes, the works. You know, when you use different firing techniques, you get very different surfaces. So I just continue to explore and play around with different ideas. A lot of potters tend to have a very distinctive single sort of style. So I like to try different things. Um, the play of light is very important to me, and that's mostly to do with the glaze surfaces. So carving was an aspect of that, getting some dimension. I came up with the name of uh, something at Mary's. It was because at the beginning it was a bit of a joint venture. I had some other friends who were involved with the studio. And I live on Mary Street. But it was also a bit of a play on the movie. So it was a bit of fun in that respect. Any tips that I would give is really to be patient. It takes a long time to become a really good thrower. So I've deconstructed throwing to make it easier for my students uh, to have a better understanding of what they're doing and why they're doing it. But throwing is just one aspect of, of pottery. So it, it's really about following the things that intrigue you, feeling confident enough to, to sort of put yourself out there. I think it's mostly commission work that I find very challenging because often the person will come and sort of give you a bit of a brief and you have to sort of try and figure out how to do that. I did some work for the Lord Mayor for the New Year's party. It took me two and a half months to, to deliver these platters and almost had to cancel Christmas trying to get these 40 platters ready. So those are some of the challenges. Also, right now I'm currently moving to a different uh, clay, which means that I have to develop new glazes and test and test and test. So that's one of those challenges that you just have to spend the time and patience. It's one of those things that you can never be bored with because there's so many different aspects to it. The glazes, there's the kiln, the environment within the kiln, which can change things very dramatically, which is part of the joy. Sometimes I'm terrified to open the kiln. And if I have something that's someone a commission work that can be quite quite difficult but at other times you know it's very exciting pottery can be very experimental depending on the types of firings that you do the clays that you use it's just it's a fascinating area and you're constantly growing you're constantly learning I've had some um, inspirations for my pottery that are very locally based we live in the Royal National Park surrounded by water, by bush, tons of birds. Um, I have a piece in the studio, I call it Bandina Sunset, because it captures some of those days where you have the yellows and pinks and mauves coming through. And it's absolutely beautiful. As well with the play of light, whenever you're looking at water, there's always something different you know, trying to capture those, those little elements. My favorite pieces tend to be a combination of found objects with incorporating clay. So a couple of years ago, when we were digging out our vegetable garden, we found these rather unusual metal pieces. And it just spoke to me to, to be the feet of a particular pot. I also take pieces from nature, so. I went on a hunt for palm pods and um, developed a series with porcelain inside. So I like to, um, to bring that element of my own personal surprise um, to the pieces that I make. The biggest thing I love about pottery is that it's constantly a challenge and there's always something new that I could do, something that inspires me. Um, 
the medium is very flexible. So it's, it's, it's something that I know that I'm gonna be doing for hopefully many more years. And it's constantly changing. I just find that terribly wonderful. Mm -hmm.